welcome friends to another video on my youtube channel in this video i will show you how you can use google firebase functions to schedule function that runs at a specific time usually known as cron jobs so let's get started before you jump into the development section make sure you have following things ready first you have a active google firebase account you have a valid project created in firebase also make sure to have a blaze plan instead of uh, the free one spark plan because in order to deploy a firebase function you need a blaze plan and don't worry when you provide your credit card information uh, to switch to blaze plan firebase will not going to charge you because you know for testing purpose we we are not going to violate any free quota on the development side make sure you have uh, installed firebase tools otherwise you can go to npm and install this firebase client and make sure to use the flag g so that you can call firebase command from anywhere on your terminal so in order to create this firebase schedule function which runs at a specific time we need to use this functionality of firebase which is pub sub and schedule and on run so that means whenever this function will run it will follow your code so let's see how you can do that so it says uh, export this is the function name and this is the general uh, command or you can say how you call this functions pub sub schedule uh, this is the time when you want to run this function and on run it will uh, run this code so let's get started with this so i have a folder in which i want to create the firebase function so i will write firebase init functions it will ask to use existing project or create a new project i will choose existing project it will show me the list of projects i have i will select the one which i want to uh, then it will ask for javascript or typescript i will choose javascript i will say no to eslint and i'll say yes so that it can download the required packages okay so the initialization is complete let me open it into visual studio code i will remove everything here i don't want now you can write export dot my scheduled function this is the name of my function equal to functions dot pub sub dot schedule dot on oh, schedule will be function and on run okay this will take a uh, argument context uh, we are not going to talk about it because it's a different thing let's use the arrow function i'm sorry here it's exports okay now the usual way to you know write a schedule function is to create what i usually do is i create uh, 
new folder inside I create a new file and here I write my function like this is my function let's say it's asynchronous let's say it doesn't take any argument and this is my function now what I do I write all the things my code here I write all the things and I test my code write my code and test my code and then once I'm satisfied with this code I copy the code and paste the code here okay so in this way when you test the function that you want to be run here separately you make no error when you deploy the function you make no error also I would like to show you one more thing is that there is a time zone functionality okay uh, the default time zone is America Los Angeles but let's say I'm in India and I'm I have a time zone uh, Asia Kolkata so I'll use Asia Kolkata now the schedule has also one more argument which is the time at which time you want to run the function so for that you can go to a website called crontab.guru and here you can see there are five stars or asteroid mark one for minute one for hour then day month and day of week so let's say I want to run a function at every Monday 10 30 p.m. so let's say 30 then 10 then on every month so let's say 1 that's 12 so this says at 10 30 every day of month from 1 through 12 uh, also I want to run it on every Monday so it starts from Sunday and Sunday is 0 so let's say 1 so it say at 10 30 on every day of month from 1 to 12 and on Monday but I'm, I, I think I'm making a mistake here so let's start here and then 1 to 12 here so it says at 10 30 on Monday in every month from January to December okay so I hope this uh, helps you let me copy this and I'll provide the argument here okay let me just make it clear so it says schedule 10 30 on every month of Monday let me save this and then from your terminal you can use this command firebase deploy to deploy the function okay so this is the function I have created and you can see uh, it's uh, it's uh, every day on uh, 10 30 through January to December from this string you can understand that so let me copy this and go to this so it says at 10 30 on every day of month from 1 through 31 in every month from January through December okay and it does some things for me okay so and then you use firebase deploy to deploy this function and when you deploy the function it will uh, it will appear here under the function section 
and under that function section you can also uh, go to the scheduler itself and then uh, run just uh, test run that to see how it's working so i hope uh, this helps you and i'm sure you 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 have gained something from this video also i want to emphasize on one thing that first create a function write the code here and then copy uh, and then paste the code and then copy the code and paste it here and it will it will work perfectly otherwise if you write directly on this uh, uh, on run method then there are possibility that you run into error and you need to debug and debugging is very difficult because you need to deploy it and then go to firebase and test run it and then you can see the log so first write the function and then uh, just copy paste the code i hope uh, you have gained some knowledge from this video uh, if you have any issue regarding firebase functions uh, please write into the comment section i'll get back to you thank you for watching peace